What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash Issue 25 review and breakdown. So this issue was absolutely stunning and the Flash to be honest is easily one of my favourite Rebirth issues as well as obviously New 52 as well but out of the gate from the Flash we've had or been given iconic new villains like Godspeed and one of the coolest crossovers of Rebirth which was the crossover with Batman and that was the button but post button storyline we have got the reverse flash so the reverse flash has played a very interesting role in DC Rebirth he was alive he was killed he was alive then he was killed and now he's back again he's back from outer space and he's ready to cause all kinds of chaos for Barry Allen so we've had kind of a prelude. The last two issues have set up this really awesome storyline. And to be honest, the greatest villain is the reverse of the Flash himself, the reverse Flash. And he was really just a fantastic and great character. Someone who has got the ideals or wanted the ideals of the Flash and got them and is so twisted by them and is out and hellbent for the almighty medieval revenge that set out about killing his mother. So this storyline is really, really cool. The Flash, or the Reverse Flash, sorry, is now alive, seemingly. Somehow he's still alive. He just keeps on surviving. Personally, I think it's a bit weird that they've so conveniently allowed him to live again. And that was that shock where we saw him take away Iris to the century where he came from but it is a really really good story and i really i can look beyond that because the stories we've had with the button and also with this as well in this last couple of issues have been well well worth ignoring some little or small little plot holes now this issue does really really focus on the origin of eobard thorn so eobard thorn has taken iris west to the 25th century Iris and Barry have only recently started properly dating. It's taken quite some time for this love to blossom as it has. And we saw in the previous couple of issues when we had the birthday party and Barry's mind really is completely elsewhere. And that is with the button and everything that is happening because he is one of the few people who realise that something is amiss in this new, this uncharted territory of the dc universe and we've got an almighty almighty kind of lightning strike coming down when we have dr manhattan come in november in the doomsday clock story now this is very much a it seemingly is very much a love letter to the flash and the reverse flash's story and well this is just a stunning way to introduce Eobard Thorne into New 52 and Rebirth because, well, it's one hell of a damn story. I know, obviously, the story was originated, but we did have the reverse flash, obviously, Daniel West. But this is very much setting the marker point for Eobard Thorne to be the reverse flash. And this does focus on his life and it was really cool seeing this story, seeing this story told out. And I'm pretty sure we've got some new panels, some new information here in this origin story. We learn that he was actually really wanting to be the Flash. We know this, of course, he was a huge, huge, huge fan and he was caught in trouble in the future. He was going about being that version of the Flash. But in the future, there's barely any damn crime, just like Abracadabra. In the Flash TV show and obviously the comics, in his century, there was not, there was too much technology, so magic wasn't impressive. So these dudes set about making things their own way. So the Reverse Flash was going away and causing these problems, and then, well, the guy that he idolised called him out, and you can see that Eobard Thorne is a very, very troubled person. As we go through this story, he tries, he tries to have redemption. He wants to become the flash and he wants he sets the the yellow version of his outfit because the flashy sidekicks 
they always wore yellow. So we had that, obviously, Kid Flash. He's looking very Kid Flash. And the origin of why he wears yellow. And that is why. Because he has idolised this character, this guy, Barry Allen, so much that, well, he wants to be his sidekick. Once he has actually kind of atoned for his sins, he becomes the curator of the Flash Museum. This is how much he absolutely loves Barry Allen and the Flash as well, the Flash mythology. But it seems like, well, this origin sets about that, well, he is completely different to Barry Allen. They are two completely different people. They have set about on different ways. They have different mindsets. And Eobard Thorne just wants the infamy and the fame and the adulation of being the Flash. But he doesn't actually want to save any people, seemingly. He just actually wants to be the Flash. That's it. He doesn't want to save people or anything like that. He just wants to be recognised, which we learn that, well, his parents were killed. And that is why he is set about on this path. And now, obviously, he has come back. He's taken Iris West to the future. And the huge, huge thing here is that he has revealed just who Barry Allen is to Iris West. So that is a huge, huge fallout that is going to happen once this story has concluded. Now, I hope that it doesn't end with the reverse Flash being killed or anything like that. Because I'm sick of him dying. I want him to stay around and hopefully turn up at a later date. That would be really, really cool. Maybe, maybe he could turn good and take on Dr. Manhattan, although he was killed pretty instantaneously in the Button storyline. However, that probably won't actually happen. But this was a fantastic issue. It was, like I said, a true love letter to where The Flash has been, where he is, and where he could possibly go in the future. And that future part is probably... In the next issue, we could see the future Flash. Not, No, just where Barry Allen probably will go next with Iris, now that his secret hath been revealed. So it was an absolutely stunning issue. The art in this is just amazing. It really does bring out the serious nature, the way, the, the perspective of the way the reverse Flash is always shown above. And it is just great. I love the way that it looked. The drawing was a lot more even I would say in the flashback where we have Barry go to the co get off the cosmic treadmill and we see him running around with Eobard Thorne. It's just great the way and it gets sharper as he becomes more evil. Just superb art there. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.